With our awning set up, we're now ready to turn it into a full annex and completely enclose it. The major components to a full annex are the PVC floor, the draft skirt which attaches down the side of the trailer, and the three walls. The long section being the front wall, the window wall at the back, and the wall at the front section of the camper near the drawbar is easy to work out because it has a very large zippered door to accommodate the ensuite. I just want to explain to you the process I'm going through here in preparation for putting up the annex. I've already attached my draft skirt along the side of the ca camper. Why I do that, it gives me a reference point as to where to start with the floor. So I've got it vertical, it's pegged in the correct place, and I've laid my floor out. To do that, I've got the poles and I've moved them out outside of the floor area. So they're not interfering with anything I've got to do with the floor. It's possible to do this with just one person, but I've got Cody assisting me today because it's always easier to put up the annex with two people. We'll bring the floor up, attach it to the Velcro. Why I do all the Velcro first is it's actually the most difficult part of the process. If you put all the walls up, then try and lay the floor out, you've got poles in the way, you're on top of the floor itself, it's difficult to move. So by getting it in early and then bringing the other components to it, it is a lot simpler. Our floor is now in its final position. So what I've done is moved all the poles back on top of the floor, far enough back from the Velcro. So I've got access to the Velcro on the floor all the way down. Next step is put up the side wall. We'll move the side wall in, Velcro it to the floor, then lift it up and Velcro it into place along the roof, then do up the Velcro down the side. Once that's done, we can peg it down permanently in place. With that wall now pegged down, the opposite end is simply rinse and repeat. Do exactly the same thing for the wall at the drawbar end. If that's all you want to set up on your annex, just the end walls, that's perfectly fine. You may be camped somewhere with a beautiful view and you don't want to spoil it. But we've still got a couple of jobs left to do. These poles are a number 12 pole and they fit in the centre of the end walls. They add support to the ridge pole and allow you to put tent ropes in that same position on the outside for windy conditions. Also, there's some Velcro tabs that need to go around the corner poles and these guys. I'll show you how to do that. So line up your number 12 pole with these Velcro ties here on the wall. Connect it up top. Extend it down and push it out into the corner and make sure it sits in there firm and put our Velcro around it top and bottom. That easy, repeat for the other end. Now we're ready for the last piece of canvas, the front wall. What I've done is I've laid the canvas out inside the ropes. There's a little bit of a breeze. I've still got my tent ropes holding things secure so they can't blow away. I've moved my poles back away from the Velcro and I'm ready to Velcro the bottom of the front wall up. Once we've Velcroed the floor down, we can raise our wall up, attach it to the top Velcro do up our sides and peg it in. I just need to solve the mystery for you on what the extra number eight poles are. They're for this. You can turn the window flaps into an awning on the outside of your annex. Your cruiser slide comes with a nylon ensuite which attaches to the wall at the front of the camper comes with a set of poles, two spigot poles and a spreader pole, nylon tent, PVC floor, bag with some pegs and some ropes from your kit. And we're ready to put it up. Start the zipper in the bottom right hand corner. One zip for the entire perimeter. I've preset my pegs and ropes ready to go, and now it's just a matter of making a H-frame with the two spigot poles and the spreader. Set them apart through the eyelet on the tent itself, then put the spreader pole across. 
almost there. We've got our poles up. Now we can just put the little Velcro tabs around the poles, which gives the tent good shape. Now all that's left to do is peg the bottom down and lay in our floor, and we do that from the inside. Simple as that, our shower tent is set up, ready to go. That's how you set up the annex on the cruiser slide. Not bad with one person, much, much easier with two.